Okay, so let's go about writing our ebook. This is basically going to be a guide to creating your book, and it's a very simple process. I'm going to take you over now to Microsoft Word and show you how you would go about writing the actual book itself and a few things about the structure of the book as well. Nice and simple. It's the same as any tutorial on writing a book. You can find this out anywhere, but there's a few things about the actual creation of the book itself and formatting it and turning it into a PDF that I wanted to share with you. So let's go over there now and I'll show you exactly how you can get started writing your book. Okay, my ebook creating team, this is the template that I've set out for myself in Microsoft Word. Incidentally, if you're using a Mac, then my apologies. This is not exactly going to be the default one that you use. It might be the default word processor. However, you can get a version of Word for Mac. You can also potentially use another computer, or if you just want to have a Mac, then you can use whatever word processor you have that comes with Macs. So either way, you should find an easy solution to that issue, if there is one. So, you can come up here to begin with and change the header of your particular document. Now, you can change the size of this header as well if you want to, but I would just suggest that you put here your book name, and that means that it appears on the top of every single page, which means it gives it a certain amount of unity and conformity when it comes to the whole rest of the book. And when you're adding pages, it just automatically puts that in the top of the page, which is a nice little touch. Then, you put your exciting title here on the main body of the page. Incidentally, to toggle between each one of these, you can just double click in that area and it will go to the header and then double click in the main body and it will come back on that. Then you can go and put in your exciting title with an exciting seductive subheadline here. And again, this has got to be something to do with the problem or issue that you're solving or the thing that your market will achieve after they've read this book. Then you can put in the artwork for your book. But don't worry about this. We'll actually show you how and where to get the artwork for your book done very, very inexpensively. In fact, we've already shown you Fiverr.com, and that's one really great way of getting it done. And we'll show you another way as well, using Elance and a few other different methods you can use. But I just suggest you go to Fiverr.com because it's really, really good in terms of creating ebook covers. There are a few designers on there who are just fantastic. So you can put your image in here, then you put in your author name underneath it, there, and then in the footer, double click it. I would put your copyright notice and a plug for your website. You can also put in an affiliate link right here. You could just say, look, if you're interested in this, you might also want to go find out about this. So for example, in mine, with the tone thigh workouts that I'm going to be giving people in the book, I can also potentially advertise a product that's on Amazon for maybe a piece of gym equipment, that sort of thing. There's all sorts of things you can potentially align with your product. Or you can also just put a plug in for your website there. This is also great if you have any kind of upsale. Now, what I mean by that is that if you have a product on what's called the front end, so the first thing that people have an opportunity to buy, if they buy that, then you can do what's called an upsale, which is to sell them something else afterwards. And the one way in which to do the upsale is to bring it to their attention immediately after they pay for the first product. So when they pay for the first product, you can say, hey, hang on a second, before you complete the transaction, do you want to buy this as well? Another way of doing it, slightly more covert, is to add it here as an affiliate link to your particular product you're creating. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be your product, which is why I say affiliate link. It can be somebody else's product you're upselling them off the back of the one they bought from you. And remember, they are already buyers. They already know they have to buy something in order to get value. So consequently, it's good to put something here like a website plug or an affiliate link. If you have your own website and you're building up a big authority site, then obviously you can send them over to that. If not, then you can simply put a plug in your own website to an upsell that you have either on your site or an affiliate link. So that's that. Hopefully that makes sense. Then you've got the contents page. After the contents page, you start your actual content with an introduction. Then it's the first chapter, which I put blah, 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 content, 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 because that's what you got to do. You've got to provide them with some really great value and great content that will actually help them do what it is you set out to do. And it's important that you do this quickly within the ebook. Answer their questions quickly and answer their problems as fast as well. Now, I've set this up very basically. There's loads of design elements you can do. If you come up here, for example, there's loads of different design elements. Here is something to do definitely put the page numbers in. So I'm going to say put the page numbers at the bottom of the page. I like this design. So I put that over here. So I have to put back in the affiliate link or whatever it is I'm going to put in there. 
but that's the new look for the footer. And you can see it's really nice with the page numbers now on all the pages. So then you've got to put the second chapter, the third chapter, and then the conclusion at the end, or the summary of the techniques or whatever you taught them how to do. And then at the end, and here's a really crucial thing, some helpful resources. Now, the helpful resources will largely be affiliate links, okay? So helpful resources will be offers and websites and things that will really help them to get what they want. So again, the thing to do is to come down here and put your affiliate links here. Now, this is good because it makes you more money. Once you've sold them the first book, once they've got their copy of this particular book, then you can go through and go via your affiliate link in order to get hold of whatever it is that you're recommending to them. So in my case, it would be with something that helps them work out, like a piece of equipment. It could be a DVD. It could be something I've referenced in the book. It could be, for example, a lady called Jillian Michaels, who is quite popular. She's on a show called The Biggest Loser. This is part of our research, by the way. I just did this search and found this program, and it's all about weight loss, about who can be the biggest loser, who can go from being massive to really being toned and great. So the idea, very simply, I could go and upsell one of her DVDs, or if she's associated with any of the other products, I can do that as well and put those affiliate links in right here. So that's that. Now, when it comes to actually creating the contents page with Word, it's quite simple. You can come back up here to where the contents page is going to be, which is here. Then you can do something really interesting. You can actually go and format the headlines, and if you use one of these formats for the actual headlines themselves, an interesting thing tends to happen. Let me show you. If I highlight this and we change this to that one, and we'll do the same with this one, first chapter, and we'll do the same with the next one, the second chapter, and we'll do this with all the chapters if we want to. I was going to do it with these so you can just see how it works. Then go back up to the contents page here, and where it says insert, you can see you've got things like a cover page, which you can insert there, a blank page if you want some space for people to do work in, and that's really an interesting idea there. If you wanted to put a blank page in and say to people that that's a blank page for notes, that they can put in their notes there, or if there's a blank page after every chapter, they can write down their plan, and you give them the template for their plan, and they can then write out their own personalized plan. That's a really good way of getting people to actually take action on something. Because that's the thing. You want people to really benefit from this. You want them to actually take some kind of action as a result of whatever it is that you're giving them. And for them to actually benefit. Like if you're teaching them how to make money, then they need to be able to make money as a result of this book. In my case, with the thigh workout thing, they need to be able to get slimmer thighs, more toned thighs, if they use this book. But they need to plan to do it so that perhaps there will be a place where I can put a blank page and say, there's a blank page. It's there on purpose. I want you to write out your plan according to this template. Here's the template. And they can just follow this and go and do it. It's another way of actually getting them involved in the product, which is really interesting. So then it comes to references over here, and you can go and add in your table of contents. So if you click on table of contents and you can choose how it's going to be laid out, whether it's an automatic table with one or two or a manual table like that, I'd say automatic and make sure you formatted all of the chapters first of all with that headline I've just shown you. And you can see, once you do that, look what happens. You get a contents page all set up for yourself, which means you have the introduction, first chapter, second chapter, and you can see they've been laid out with page numbers already. It just happened in one click, literally, because these ones here, introduction, first and second chapter, they've all had that headline changed and they've had the headline formatted. Now, I can do this with the rest of them as well and format the entire thing all the way to the end and that means it's really easy to reference. And that's really important because the one thing I noticed with Truth About Abs, I noticed it wasn't formatted. And consequently, it wasn't very easy to read. Now, there's a reason I think that Mike Geary did that with the product. It's because he wants everyone to read everything in the book. I understand that, but I still think you should format the whole book with page numbers, and I'll tell you why. Imagine you've read the book all the way through the first time. You're very disciplined, you haven't skipped anything, you've gone all the way to the end. If you then think, I wonder what that thing was I read earlier, where it was about this particular exercise, or about this particular way of making money, or this particular way about completing a level in a computer game, whatever it might be. And you think, I wonder where that thing was. Then you go back and look for it, and you can't find it because it's buried in the text. Well, that really doesn't help because you can't get the maximum value from the book as a result. So make sure you do do this and add the contents page right here. So that's it, really.
That's the very simple way of creating your ebook. And make sure you do put this extra page in at the end, the helpful resources, because basically this is a way of upselling people in a very soft way. It's what's called a soft sell because you're just saying, look, if you've enjoyed this book and you want to get as much value from it as possible, then you might also want to try these things because these things will really help you add to the learning in this book, and this is a great way of doing it. For example, you could upsell them to a membership site, and remember, this can be someone else's site that you just have an affiliate link from ClickBank for. Very simple. Okay, so that's that. That's how to format a book. Now. As an extra thing, I want to show you how to turn this into a PDF, okay? So let's go to the home page. Okay, if I go up to the actual print area and click on print, you can see I get my normal printer. But here at the top, this is Cute PDF Writer. Now, Cute PDF Writer is a great free tool that you can use to turn your Word documents into PDFs. Okay, so instead of doing that now, I'll show you where you can get Cute PDF. So I'm over here at Google and I've just typed in Cute PDF, all one word, and you can see the first result I get is CutePDF.com. And that's the one you want to go for, so click on there and you can go and download this for free. There's a version that you can buy as well which is more updated and has loads of different other features as well, but the one you need to go for is Cute PDF Writer here, which is what's called freeware, which is software that's free. So get your copy, click on free download, and then save that file. And when you've saved that file to your desktop, then double click it to actually run it and then you can install it. And it basically installs on Microsoft Word as if it's a printer. So anything that you then create in Microsoft Word, you can go in and print using Cute PDF. And all it does if you actually activate it here, then click OK. What it will do is format it into a PDF folder and you can choose where to save it to. So in my case, I've actually created a folder which is called Thigh Fat Product. And I've called it Thigh Book Template. So let me just call it Thigh Book for a second and click on Save. Now, if I do that, it actually goes and prints the book as a PDF. So if I open up the folder that that goes with, you can see there's now a PDF called Thigh Book. If I double click on it and open it, you can see it's now created that ebook. Now, this ebook can't really be modified by people. It can be highlighted or whatever, but they can't really modify it at all. So it looks like a more professional book. There's the contents page, introduction, first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, conclusion, and summary. And there's the helpful resources. All done. And that's just using Cute PDF. So go ahead and install it. It's free and it will create for you great PDFs. And the book doesn't have to be the most incredible work of art that's ever been created. It doesn't even have to be amazing. It just has to do what it says it will do. It has to do exactly what people expect it to do. And if it says on the sales page that it will cure a certain number of things, it has to do that. You can't let people down with that. It also has to be done ethically and truthfully. You can't sell a book on the cure for cancer, for example, because that doesn't exist yet. So make sure that you're doing something ethical. Make sure that you are truthful about it and that you really have good information. And if you yourself don't have the information, no problem. You can actually go and interview someone who does and get the information from them. Ideally from a number of different people and that way you've got lots of authors and lots of potential partners, lots of people who can potentially promote the book once it's actually written. It's a really good method of doing it. And if you recall the interview, you actually have an audio file which you can sell with the book and that makes it more valuable. So hopefully that all makes sense. Let's go over a quick recap of how to create your PDF and your ebook and then we'll move on to creating other types of products and then we'll look at outsourcing as well and videos as well. But here comes the recap. So there you have it. I don't think creating your ebook can be any easier. It's very simple. It's actually just a Word document that's being turned into a PDF. Now, make sure that your book has a front cover, a disclaimer, and this is really important. I should have mentioned this in the tutorial, but make sure it has a disclaimer. If you're doing anything at all to do with health or making money or really any of those things, in fact, even if you're in dating or computer game playing, whatever it might be, make sure it says, these results aren't typical and basically you can take the disclaimers from the ones you've created for your affiliate site. You can use those as your template and just change the details rather than for a site, make it for a book, and that gives you what you need.
Put that on the page after the front cover, and then the page after that can be your contents page, and then your introduction. Make sure it also has the info the customers expect. That's really, really important if you told them you're going to help them. As in my case, a toned stomach, get flat abs, or tone their thighs, then that's what needs to happen. Also make sure there's a conclusion to just summarize the points you've made. Make sure there's extra resources as well. Make sure there's that extra page at the end where you have the chance to sell other things to them which are related and which will help them. And then very simply just make it into a PDF with Cute PDF. Go to CutePDF.com where you can make it into a PDF file, which you can upload to your site, which we'll show you how to do in later videos. So next, we're going to look at how to create the audio version of your book, and it's really very, very simple. It's going to be a short video, and then we'll go look a bit further at outsourcing the actual report itself, and I'll show you live how I've outsourced one of my reports at elance.com. So hopefully that's all useful, and we'll go on to the next video, where you can see exactly how we're going to create the audio version of our product.